Hello, Cyclone Nation. Welcome to another episode of NCAA Basketball. As today, the Nebraska Corn Huskers come into Hilton Coliseum to take on the number 20 Iowa State Cyclones. Let's take a look at your starting lineups for tonight. We have Navarre, Robertson, Gambo, Gibbons, and Wiggins. And for your Cyclones, Dark Lord, Gustav Gomes, Ty Richards, Caesar Alexander, and James Moots. We'll be joined by Brad Nessler, Dick Vitel, and Aaron Andrews on the call with ESPN. And today, in real life basketball, a huge matchup today between the number 14 Iowa State Cyclones and the number 2 Kansas Jayhawks, which can be found on ESPN+. Plus. Here we go with the tip off, and it's Iowa State's basketball. Here we go, folks. Out of bounds by Nebraska State, Iowa State basketball. Caesar Alexander checks out and Trace Reed comes on in. We have Moose, Reed, Richards, Gomes, and Lord on the floor for your Cyclones. Reed for three. Yes, sir. The first points of the game from Chase Reed. What a block by Dark Lord. Ty Richards with the ball, dribbling up. Hey, Brad, let's throw some quality practices and a level of commitment for the team. Based on my experiences, teams that have improved have done those two things. And foul on Gustavo Gomes. There's a look at the Big 12 standings right there, folks. And there's a look at how the teams have been doing so far in both categories. We got Doug Gibbons at the line for two. But they can also be deceiving. You never want to judge someone purely by their average, no matter how high or low they may sink. Both are good. Moose getting a call from the coach of what to do. Oh, he just drives it in and lays. Oh, I thought he laid it up and it was good. No, it was not. Foul on Ty Richards. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. 
they found right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Touch your floor there. You know, that's 
how you draw them up. It's so important that the ball moves from one side of the court to the other. So important when you're attacking offensively. And come up short. Laid it on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Jumper off the mark. And a momentary look from three-point land. Number 20 is Ethan. Chris Reed for three. He feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Put back is up and good by Nebraska. This guy can really score in a variety of ways down the low block. Here. This guy's the total package. He can beat you in more ways than one. And that's scary for any defense. Nice two by James Moose. We're at the four minute mark. James Moose for two. Now that's how you take the ball to the basket. Well, those aggressive moves to the basket are what this offense is all about. Looking for a good shot. Chris Reed for three. For two, the shot's off target. effort and nice attempt there by Moose to knock down a three to kind of extend the lead. Arena. 
Shot clock is dead, folks, by the way. I don't say can hold for the last shot until halftime. From the Essen State, no. All right, we have reached halftime with Nebraska leading number 20, Iowa State, 22 to 20. Nebraska starts the second half with the basketball. Number 14 walking back out onto the floor. He needs to get himself warm playing defense first before he starts to think about offense. With the J. In this shot. James Moose for three. What a block. Oh, they give. Oh, another block. James Moose for two. I tell you, he's really attacking the goal. He's going in fearless, and he's absolutely attacking the defense. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots. Doesn't go. Perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Chris Reed for three. And the crowd in Hilton Coliseum is coming alive. Yes, James Moose for two. Richards had a great chance there, honestly, to set the front rim iron. Richards 
Reed wide alone. Oh, no good. Offensive foul. Away from the ball on Nebraska. Iowa State basketball. for three. This one might be headline news in tomorrow. 
Foul on Carlos Dotson. Derek Wiggins on the line for two. They will line him up. Gets the first shot. Makes the shot. Nebraska is only down by three. They have kept it close the whole entire game. Iowa State shooting, though, too, has been horrible, really. Only shooting about 57% throughout the field. Wide open, read three, yes. Out of bounds, though, say Nebraska basketball.
Gucci, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. He unloads a three. Plus the J. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. You got to keep pressing. Well, it's time to start piloting. They got to stop the clock. The offense begins off the sideline in left. Moose for three. Uncharacteristic mistake by the senior. Wow, man, that stops the clock again. Folks, that will do it. Iowa State comes out with a 54-43 win over Nebraska. This is something they'll need to put a stop to ASAP. Going victim to a three-game slump could put quite a spin on the outcome of their season. Iowa State keeps their undefeated season alive. As now we go take a look at your next opponent, folks. And our next opponent is away at Waco, Texas against the Baylor Bears. Let's go take a look at your conference standing since that's the only thing that has changed. We have Texas at 23-1 and 11-0. And and Iowa State at 21-0 and 7-0. And and Kansas at 21-2 and 8-2. And and Oklahoma State at 17 and 7 and 7 and 4. Texas A&M at 12 and 11 and 5 and 5. We have Texas Tech at 16 and 6 and 4 and 5. We have Oklahoma at 14 and 8 and 4 and 5. We have Kansas State at 11 and 11 and 3 and 6. We have Nebraska at 11 and 13 and 3 and 8. We have Missouri at 10 and 13 and 2 and 8. And Baylor is at 12 and 8 and 1 and 6. And Colorado is at 5 and 16 and 1 and 7. So that does it today, folks, for today's game. I hope you all enjoy it. As next up, we take the 12 and 8 and 1 and 6 Baylor Bears from Waco, Texas. That is it for today's Cyclone Basketball signing off.